What does a Dr. Phil star have in common with Titanic Sinclair? Nothing? Or well, so you thought. In a very weird crossover, this video will explore Mariah Malibu, the cult of Hollywood and Titanic Sinclair. Things are about to get weird. Mariah Malibu rose to fame after appearing on an episode of Dr. Phil, as she claimed that she spent up to 15k a week on shopping, which was largely from a million dollar trust fund that she would supposedly get 200k of a month, which would explain that spending. Her clips on the Dr. Phil channel have been viewed a million times each. Also, TV over mind, I can tell you desperate to make a top 10 list when number 3 is that she doesn't have many friends. There's such an earth shattering revelation, TV over mind. Mariah also aspires to be the most famous person in the world, which she states during her Dr. Phil episode. And her YouTube states that she is better than Bad Baby and Nicolette Grey, who were also on Dr. Phil. I guess she wants to be the Dr. Phil Queen. Speaking of her YouTube channel, it has two videos one about the truth of the Dr. Phil episode, and the other is about how she was banned from Gucci which was made with Christian Aaron. According to Mariah, she ended up causing a scene after which she was made to sign an agreement that she would never shop in Gucci stores. Her subscriber count is currently hidden. What a surprise. She has nearly 2k followers on Twitter and the link to her Instagram is broken. And she also has one song on Spotify. But something that is very obvious looking at all her social medias is something called Cult of Hollywood. The cult of Hollywood is something, but definitely not a cult, and Mariah wasn't actually a member to start with, she was slotted in. It has a YouTube channel with two videos, once again, including a We Are Coming video from two years ago, so I wonder how soon is soon. It has social media accounts attached to it, 100 followers on Twitter and a private Instagram account. What is potentially most interesting about it is that it has a website, which isn't a secure website oddly enough. It looks like this. And boy, does that font look familiar. A former member of the Cold of Hollywood alleged that it was directly ripped off from Poppy. I haven't tried to sign up and don't plan on it in case you were wondering. Unlike Poppy, it's not saying they're in a cult, they're saying they are in a cult. Although the YouTube channel has two featured channels, and they are Mariah, as we've previously been through, and someone called Nicholas Hollywood. Nicholas is a pivotal part of the whole operation in NT Entertainment, which I'll get onto soon. But unlike Mariah, he actually has three videos on his channel and is the most active of the people we've spoken about so far. He also has his subscribers hidden though. The three videos are all music related. They are God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, A Mashup and The Darkest Winter. The last one mentioned there was also spoken about and premiered on a site called Hollywood Life. I won't bore you with the details, but towards the end, it says this. Helping him achieve this are close friends and collaborations, including noteworthy producers like the aforementioned Valentin and Titanic Sinclair. Though not much can be shared about the latter collaboration, Nicholas does say that fans can expect an immersive entertainment experience, one that fans can expect in early 2021. You read that right, Titanic Sinclair. Let's talk about that. And also an immersive fan experience? Sounds oddly like something Poppy was teasing. Nicholas's cover photo also contains a logo saying NT, which I'll talk about soon. Cult of Hollywood is Nicholas Hollywood's brand. Nothing about it is actually original. So if you guys know who Titanic Sinclair is, you know that he worked on the project Poppy. The girl who said, I'm not a cult, you know, the blonde girl? Yeah, um, that was ripped off from Poppy. Cult of Hollywood, the idea was, oh yeah, we are a cult. It's literally the polar opposite of Poppy, but Nicholas, and I have screenshots of this entirely, and he in person has told me this. He only offered Titanic Sinclair 20% of the proceeds from that company. And it was only that measly little bit because Titanic doesn't know that Cult of Hollywood is a ripoff of Poppy. If he knew, he could sue Nicholas and own the company and make a whole different thing with it. But of course, you know, he doesn't know yet. So 
hopefully he finds this video and knows the truth because I, like I said I have screenshots of him saying he will rip it off and he has ripped it off entirely. And you know whose first name is also Mariah just spelt different? Poppy. Anyway you get the point. Also Poppy has her sub count hidden and coincidentally Titanic actually covered this song God Rest You Merry Gentlemen last year. I've known about it for probably a year I think but I was always very skeptical. Even making this I was skeptical. But a video made by someone who was part of the cult of Hollywood mentioned Sinclair's involvement multiple times, including apparently getting a 10k loan to pay for a video for him to make, and potentially 20% of their earnings from the revenue of the cult of Hollywood. At least one person has sent me DMs about this subject, but now I feel like I can really make a video about it and discuss it, or what there exists of it at least. NT Entertainment is what the NT refers to in the cover photo for Nicholas's YouTube channel. This is who Mariah is also managed by and who formerly managed the aforementioned Christian Aaron. They allegedly had a whole cast of people and it was all fake. A whole bunch of people are also according to Twitter owned by NT. These include Salem is Magic, Third Eye Dude, Glitter Gold, Kelsey Knight and even someone for some reason called Mars Girl. The majority of these have next to no online presence, but they all have the Cold of Hollywood website in their bio. It's actually the wrong address though, oddly enough. Might want to check that, Nicholas. There are no results on Google when trying to find any links to Tate Sinclair and Nicholas or NT Entertainment. And even their own website that is linked in their Twitter just redirects to the same Twitter account. So what does that mean? Well, there isn't much to go on, but Let's dig as far as we can. For starters, the main website has never been saved and neither has Mariah's YouTube channel to the Wayback Machine. So that's a dead end. But I found some answers. NT Entertainment from what I found was created by Nicholas and NT is his initials. And he's actually had an online presence for a long time, potentially as early as 2008 as he used to go by Nicholas T on social media websites for a while and even had a fan site of which remnants can still be found on Twitter and Instagram. So it would seem that this was all he's doing. Who knows why, but I guess it is what it is. I don't know how he came into contact with Titan Sinclair. That seems like a bit of a strange link to me. Maybe one day someone will explain it all, but I don't mind never having the answers. In saying that, at least one of the Twitter accounts was made this year, so it seems like it's still active despite being quite dormant on social media. As for Christian Aaron, he still follows Mariah on Twitter but they don't seem to interact with each other anymore. She's gone quiet for a while now as well. Some of the allegations in this video come from a video by Sage Adams, which will be linked in the description. She's a former employer of Nick Hollywood and NT Entertainment. It was all seemingly fake and was trying to be a replica of a more successful project by allegedly bringing in a famous director. But as it turns out that you actually need the talent, Nicholas. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was somewhat interesting. I know that it was short. The information is very limited. I've done well in hiding. I don't know who the real Mariah Malibu is or anything like that. I tried to find that stuff back. But anyway, thanks for watching and I shall see you soon for the next mini documentary, hopefully.